So here's the chuck, um, and this is how it inserts into your core. And I'm just going to show you by hand when you start to rewind, those rollers are going to ride up the ramp and grab the core with no issues at all. We're going to test this on our rewind stand so you'll be able to see the set screw. And when you tighten up the set screw, you're actually going to close a split bushing. So the set screw does not contact your through shaft. So you can see that split bushing inside of there closed. That's what closes onto the through shaft. So you slide the mechanical chuck right onto the through shaft. Um, so we're going to tighten up this set screw. And that clamps the chuck to the through shaft. Now it can't move. And then we take your core and we're going to slide that onto this assembly. That's going to slide over the mechanical chuck and then onto the end plug. And then we're going to take this and we're going to mount this assembly, this, this core and shaft assembly, into our safety chucks. I left the end of the mechanical chuck open a little bit um, just so you'll be able to see the, how far the rollers ride up the ramp, you'll be able to see them grab. So this drops into our safety chuck assembly. Uh, we close the safety chuck, and then we take the one Now, again, this is under tension, so you're gonna, we're gonna zoom in, but you're gonna actually see those rollers ride up the ramp and grab into the core. So now those rollers are round, are forward, and they're delivering torque to that core. And this is. This is like a drum, you can see that I have this under a lot of tension. And that chuck isn't slipping at all. Um, what I'll do is, just need to do a couple of wraps. What I'll do is I'll cut those wraps off and then you'll see the position of those rollers. So that's where the rollers came out to. That's the oh, that's the out position. That's where you're delivering all your torque. You can see your core is not triangulated. The core works really well for this application. Um, to disengage those rollers, what we do is we rotate the core back. Now they're disengaged. Now if you can see the rollers are in the back position and they don't grab. The rollers grab in this position. But if I turn the turn that on. You can see those rollers move forward. That's that's how the chuck works. So now they're forward, so you, the, the core is locked in there. It won't move. To get it off, you have to just rotate it back slightly. Pull your um, this would be a rewound roller material. You rotate the core back slightly, and then it just the shaft will slide right out of right off the mechanical chuck.